So we'll wind up right behind it. We've uncovered more of this one. Guess what? It's about the same size. It just goes forever. Ooh, and hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, I see a fracture see there. That? The problem is, is that you see this big rock here, and then you see this rock. Guess what? Same rock, because there's no break here. However, there is a big crater in it. I just, I, I want to, now hooking up this pulley system is not the easiest or quickest thing to do, and it's kind of exhausting, because the chains are heavy, you gotta figure out the length of the cords and everything else. Anyway, it's just by the time you get ready to pull, it's like, you know, an hour later. But anyway, I want to at least try. I want to get it hooked up here to the edge of the rock, which we're going to unearth a little bit more. I just want to put the chain about here and pull that way so that the rock is going like this. Hopefully it twists enough to maybe, maybe reveal a fracture that we don't see and just get this thing moving a little bit. I think this thing just needs to move. right here with the jackhammer just to kind of loosen that crack all right here hold this there's safety glasses up there we're gonna set up pulleys now all right meg show us what you got The queen of snatch blocks. <laughs> Is there such a thing? Now, I'm gonna get the tractor out of the way. Now, normally we have a four to one hookup right here. And in our previous uh, snatch block episode, we would just put the tractor, like we'd replace my Meg with the tractor. <laughs> and that would mean, here Meg, pull on it. <laughs> All right? That this would basically- Four Megs. That, so there's Meg. Now imagine there being four Megs pulling on that cord. That's what's going on right now when you reach it all the way to the top of the chain there. All right, but instead of a Meg, we're gonna get a Ricky. We're gonna put Ricky on that thing, but not yet. Now we're gonna take and make this a compound pulley by getting another winch cable and maybe using that as an anchor tree. Okay, we'll go that direction. And then a snatch block here then you have another pole section. Stop then the show, don't tell. repeat that one more time. So we have four megs. If we add one more lead with a snatch block, that doubles the megs to eight megs. <laughs> and then if we double the eight megs again, <laughs> uh, we might be one meg down. <laughs> if, we, if we double eight megs, we're ultimately gonna have 16 to one megs. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with these food prices feeding all these Megs, but right Meg? Yeah. I like watching Meg work, especially with that puffy hat. Chain tying. All right. It's kind of like a rope, but it's a chain. John thinks it's unique. <laughs> You're such a jerk. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. Fisherman's knot. I pulled the car out of a ditch one time with this knot. So, funny story. Come up. So, my neighbor uh, drove his car into a ditch. He's an older guy. And he sent the other neighbor to come get me because he knows I have a tractor. I think he thinks that Ricky is just bigger than he really is. So I show up with a tractor and a dinky chain. So, another tractor shows up that's like seven Rickies in one. I mean, this thing was like bigger than the road. And so this thing pulls up and this farmer guy, he's like, hey, John, uh, go ahead and uh, tie up this chain to his chassis. I was like, oh yeah, sure, no problem. So I'm like, how do I do that, <laughs> right? So I mean, fake it till you make it. So I went in there and, and just did really the only knot I know, which is a fisherman's knot. So we go over. And I mean, I was, I was hoping it worked. Over again, now normally fisherman's knot, you do three, but then you go through the hole and then go through the hole you just created. And there's your chain knot. And that's as solid as can be. And did it work? 
and it worked. It pulled out his car. The car got yanked out of the ditch. Let's see if it works on a huge <laughs> rock that's heavier than yeah. our neighbor's I, I car. What, that chain's gonna break before that knot. Okay. You did! I moved it? Yeah! It's moving! No way. Where? Come over here! Look! <laughs> Holy right. smokes! It was quirk. I wanted to know because, I mean, is that getting more and more tension? And yeah, or snap? is it actually moving? Or is yeah. it actually moving? And it's moving. So I got more room. I'm going to keep going. Okay. All right. It broke. Huh? It broke. I don't know, John. It's a big rock. Oh, wait. No, it didn't. It didn't break. Is it moving, though? It. All right. Look. Wow. Wow. How is that possible? Holy smokes! That's insane. That is something. Under there. Under that tree. A little guy. It's a big rock. I mean, this seems to be like a thin point. Maybe we could jackhammer it there. Do you see a vein anywhere? Not at all. <sighs> but that Except would be ideal right if, we could, if we could just get the jackhammer and just cut the thing off. I mean, this took a while yesterday just getting that done. But I mean, this is a big hunk. If we could carve out this section, I don't know. Jackhammering got exhausting, and we're gonna try to pull it again. I'm done with rocks. too much tension Where? in the in the line like it's gonna snap I've never heard it like that before I think we need to put it on the end 
Instead of in the middle. Is it moving off? No. We're gonna try again. All right, come on. Let's do this. Let's try it. Give it a pull. We're gonna be blasting some rock in a very small manner here. We're, we designed our system to be for this 22 blank round that you normally use in power hammers. The yellow tips are the most powerful round there is. It's basically a 22 round. It's a yeah, .22 caliber round. So this is almost, it's just shy of one quarter inch in diameter, the tip. However, it doesn't have a projectile in it. Yeah, it doesn't have a bullet, it's just a blank round. Usually, what are those usually used for? Usually for attaching uh, wood to a cement slab. I think it's called a power hammer, uh, something like that. But they sell them in packs of 100. You get them at Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever box store. So they were just six, seven dollars for a hundred rounds. So that's gonna be our small explosion. We need a hole to put this inside of. So we have this um, carbide tip rock bit here that we're gonna put in our hammer drill. Okay, and this is 5 16 which is, which is just over the quarter inch needed for that 22 round. Um, once we get that hole drill, we're gonna clean it out with this, uh, this tube cleaner, pipe cleaner, whatever you wanna call it. This just has to be close to that 5 16 diameter. And then um, we're also gonna be blowing it out with this small hand pump. We have a foot pump too, we're gonna see which one works better. But just this, it has a little uh, inflator tube on here. And we have these small coffee stirs that will fit over that needle. That way we could get it into the hole and just, you know, pump this and it'll shoot some air in there and blow out the rock dust. That's, that's the uh, plan with this uh, tube here. All right. After that, comes time for the fun part. You get the hole all cleaned out. Then we're going to use this drill bit here. I bought a drill bit thinking that it was already hardened metal. I don't want something that's gonna bend. I'm gonna put this into the hole that we bored out with the ammunition or the shot on the bottom, and we're gonna hit this with a small hammer to create that. Basically, we're repl replicating what a firearm would do. Um, I'm gonna cut this in half first. So this is a, a 25 inch, this is a wood bit. Look at this bit here, see the tip, it's got a tip on it. And I'm gonna try using that to punch the head of the bullet. But I, I've seen these things in action. And whenever these things, well the hammer that I have, it always puts a little pin mark on the, on the, uh, on the edge here. So I don't know if the firing pin is on the edge or if it's in the middle or if it even matters at all. So I'm gonna try both methods and let you know. So if it's in the middle, it's gonna punch it right there in the middle, but I figured we'd cut it in half and have two of them. And on one of these, we're gonna shape it at a point to be kind of like a flathead screwdriver so that we could punch from above and it would hit the two sides, causing the fire pin to go off and ignite the explosive and then boom. So, Let's go shape this and we'll get up there by the rock. We'll show you the rock, what we're working with. And yeah, let's go, uh, let's go do this. Okay. I have a hammer drill. It's on hammer mode here. I have the handle for it. It's just the DeWalt. Um, this is probably undersized for what we're doing for it, but this is what I have. I'm not gonna buy a new drill for this. It's like old faithful. Just like it, Meg. I'm 
Kevin deleted a video accidentally. Actually, no, he did it on purpose, but we didn't think it was important. So that first charge that we did right here, from here over, that came off. This is our hole that we drilled, and the explosion was right here, and this is what came off. But we reassessed, and John, what was not working? I, I don't think the Your punch bar. was working. I left the bar back there. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah, that wasn't working. So we have sacrificed a flat head screwdriver. Yeah. And made it the size of the hole and made it at like an angle. Yeah. So I think the the firing pin is on the rim of these little 22 cartridges. And we got a hammer instead of the sledgehammer because we had forgotten the hammer and we had this up here so that's why we we're using that but it doesn't give you as much control john wants to try this little spot right here so that's what we're going for yeah i just want some success here let's try it we want some there it goes i'm gonna did it hit the bottom right there and blast away Yeah, it blew up. It didn't make the hole. It didn't crack it though. Damn it. Hey, at least that tech, you know what? Let me shove two in here and see what happens. Why not? I mean, it's all about where you're hitting it. Bullet. All right, let's try two. That is going off, isn't it? Yeah. Definitely. That sounded a lot better. It didn't blow up though. Cracking anything? It did not crack anything. What the heck? I mean, maybe it's just too shallow. <sighs> Oh yeah, genius, wrong hole. I'm okay. That would be why it didn't work. Yep. Anything? It did not break. That hurt my hand though. <sighs> Nothing. No. That's a lot of fun, but it's... Not doing anything. I mean, that's not even that big of a piece of rock. Have the hammer. Yep. Here you go. There you go. <sighs> so it works. Day eight hundred fifty three of moving the rock. We're gonna drill. We're gonna make a crack with the drill. Mm -hmm. Now, John, do you think we do it here or do we do it there? I think we do it in the thinnest section we can. You good? 16 foot, uh, seven, 199 inches. 30, 32. 32. 32? About three feet. Let me see. If we go to there. Oh, yeah, wow. Okay, I thought this was 32. Okay. Yeah. So. Three by three by 16 and a half. We have three feet by three feet by 
um, 16.5 long. It's actually longer than that because it does like curve equals 148.5 in limestone, which I think this is, weighs 150 per square foot. Per square f Wait a second. No, I don't want to multiply. I want to... No, yeah. 148 cubic feet times 150 pounds. This rock weighs 22,275 pounds. That's, uh, that's over 10 tons. It's actually over 11 tons. And I pulled that with my 24 horsepower tractor. Good job, Ricky. Proud of you, bro. feel like I'm doing anything. <sighs> That's not going anywhere, Meg. Wanna just make a big speed bump? Yeah. Alright, you guys heard it. We're just gonna leave the rock and make a big speed bump. Just kidding. We still have to figure this out. We're a little tired of uh, moving rocks. Just, just a little bit. We're gonna do it. New tool. What do we get, John? We got a hammer drill. Corded hammer drill. Yeah. No stopping us now. Yeah, I was using my cordless. I have a really nice DeWalt drill. It's an XR hammer drill, but it's cordless and I really shouldn't do it for a job like, use it for a job like this because- Smoked a battery. Yeah. Cause I mean, these, these holes take a few minutes each. About five minutes each. And you're just like full throttle on the drill and it's burning through those lithium batteries. I mean, lithium batteries are great, but you can't torture them that much. It has three modes. It has hammer, hammer and drill and drill. So we're gonna do hammer and drill. Drilling means it rotates it. Hammering is just the oscillating forward and backwards. And the chuck is kind of cool because it pulls out or it actually pushes down and the bit head, can you see that, Meg? See the bit head? Mm -hmm. There's a certain groove that you just kind of find your way in there and then it clicks into place and that's it. Cool. That's all the way through. That one's all the way through. That one's not. All Do you the think way it's too deep though? I don't know. Let's blow it up. I don't know. Blow it up, he says. Ugh. It went. Yeah. That was cute. It was cute. Oh, man. the blower to just blow all this out and clean up the area a bit and I also brought up this uh, my air compressor I got this cool little blow gun here I could hook this into the generator but I can use it to you know shoot myself in the face with some rock dust Wow, that it came out in a hurry I wasn't ready for that yeah. oh wow you weren't ready either <laughs> okay here. Whoops. Yeah, that came out in a hurry, huh? 100 PSI will do that. Okay.
nothing. Guys, so I'm up here working on the rock. This one, you know this one. <laughs> I cannot break this rock. I've tried my jackhammer. I've tried the uh, hammer drill. I've put charges into it. Um, you know, I've tried a little Jedi mind trick on the thing to levitate it and push it away. That didn't work. I even considered taking the thing and doing my snatch blocks up against this, uh, what is that? I don't know if that's an oak. I know it's a buckeye next to it, but I was going to put it on this end and stand the thing up like this and have a monument. That'd be cool because it would actually work out that way if that went up. See, the base would be right there. That would just kind of go like that. But I don't know. Something, something would go wrong, <laughs> I feel. Who knows? So I'm at the point where I am resorting to what I probably should have done in the first place. So instead of wasting like two days plus just on this crack, I should have uh, gotten the, I think it's called Dex Pan. I'll let you know. I just called Meg. She's ordering it right now. So what, but man, this thing, it got the best of me. And uh, you win, Rock. I just, I've been breaking chains with the 16 to one pulling, like I'm tired of spending money on this thing and time. <sighs> tired. I want to go do something else. So we made a small purchase of uh, Dex Pan and we bought a lot of this stuff. This stuff is sold in 11 pound bags. And this is expansive demolition grout. It's basically like a concrete or a cement mixture that expands up to 8,000 PSI. Oh, amazing, no, 18,000 18, PSI. PSI. Expansive strength. So the directions state to um, use your rock drill and bore a hole into the rock and make those holes one foot apart from each other. Pour this stuff in, it gives you the, the measurements. It's supposed to be one 11 pound bag of Dex Pan to um, 320, so I guess 60 ounces of, of water. We're gonna mix it with this mixer and in that bucket then we're gonna pour it into the holes. But first we're gonna drill those holes. Uh, I'm going to remove the rock dust from the holes with this thing here. I got my air compressor with a little blow nozzle on it. So when we drill the holes, uh, hopefully we can get at least 80% the way through, then we'll clean out the holes, get everything ready, and then we're going to mix the dex pan all at once, pour them into the holes. So we're going to break this in a number of places. I'm Four 11 pound bags and I'm thinking one dex pan bag will be enough to do all the holes we did so manufacturer recommends what you do inch and a half holes according to our research in the community uh, community using this stuff a lot of people are like well I had a one inch pit and everything worked fine that's what we three had quarter, too. Even. three quarter okay so that's like half of what's recommended so we used a one inch bit 16 inches I'm thinking we got most of the way through the rock like we're baking. What else are you gonna do with it? Yeah. You gotta pour it out anyway, you might as well pour it in some holes. It's only been about two hours. So it says it can take quite a while, but there's no change yet. I had some hope that maybe this was something, but then I went and checked the pictures and that was there. So we'll come back tomorrow and hopefully we'll see something.
You got a breath back? A little bit. It's a steep climb. So it's the next morning. We are on our way up to see if we have any cracks. Yep. John's feeling positive. How'd I lost feel? sleep over this last night. Really, I was up thinking about it. What we're gonna do if there's no cracks. We're almost in sight. I think I see a crack. No. Really? I hope that's a crack. Is that a crack? It's not a crack. Oh, I was looking in the wrong spot. There's a crack here. Look. There sure is. That's a crack. There are cracks there. Wow. Not there? huge cracks, but. Well. It's something. I don't see anything on these ones yet. Wow, look at that. Look at this one. Cracks it's down probably there. still going. We should just leave it alone. Look at how much it. Look at this. What? Holy cow! Did it crack that in half? I don't know. So we're gonna leave it a little longer because it's only been 16 hours, and hopefully, we'll get some larger cracks. Meg's smiling. What's going on, Meg? Good news. <laughs> Three days, right? Well, we didn't come up yesterday. But it's been three days. Yeah. It's been three days since we put the deck pan yeah. in the cracks. Look at them. Now you gotta get the view over here. All right, that's all the way through on this side. Well, let me do this side first. Okay. We got a crack all the way through there. Did I even bore that one out? No, the, the bores were here. They went in a line this way and it made the crack in the weak spot on the thin side. That I think cracked too. And then look for the grand finale. This cracked. And that has four holes in it. That that's only a one inch hole. Here, get perspective here. Get me. That's that's this side of the rock. This was all one rock. Whew. Look at how it expanded. Like that is some of it right there. That's one of the holes. I am, I am impressed. I mean, that's, that's an inch and a quarter crack. Yeah. This was the thick part. We didn't even go down very far compared to the size, the thickness of this rock. And then this cracked everywhere. Yeah, here's the bores on this one. They went and here, 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 and down there. So this whole thing cracked and it also continued down this way. And then this one, wow. Yeah. That went right through the whole rock. This, this chunk is actually on the ground. Wow, that's a good example of what it can do. Let me get a good view here. Wow. That was a one inch hole that was bored into that rock. And that expanded a lot. So we used the 16 inch bit to get down in here. You could only get your drill down so far. So that's about the limit of the drill. And it's said to go 80 to 90% of the rock itself. I, I don't even think we got that far. It looks like maybe 70%, 60, 70, somewhere in there. And wow. it still worked. Good work, guys. We could probably harvest this and use it again. If I don't we know. I to. don't know if you can. No. Oh, you could try. I'm, I'm not going to waste my time. We've spent too much time on this rock. Let's move this thing already. Yeah. It's been three weeks. <laughs> We've been trying to move this rock. <laughs> Dex pan. Look at me. Look at me in the eyeballs. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I mean it. You guys, the, the scientists, the lab rats, 
I'm a fan. I'll tell everyone I know. It's snowing. It is snowing. We are a fan of Dex Pan. Dex Pan! Should have done that to begin, it, to begin with. Would have saved a lot of time. into the hole a little bit so it doesn't look so funny and no one falls in that gap behind it but wow what a fight we won we won the fight now we continue and yes that is a rock and that's a rock and that's a rock and but if any of them or more than just the surface there, we'll put text pan in it now. <laughs> We're not doing this again for three weeks. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, that's where it's gonna, that's where it's gonna stay. Right there. part of their obstacle course. Oh, yeah. we, we, won. we won! We won! We won! my shoe. Control Z. <laughs> but we do have a chain without a hook, so John's going to... Ow! Oh, Z. God! <laughs> oh, man, is that your flesh? Oh, no. Hold on, we gotta get this. This is the stuff that, like, Discovery Channel gets normally. I should tell... That Gu just whipped me in the lip. Let me see your lip. It really stings. Oh, man, you're missing some teeth. And I lost my hat. Yeah, I got stuck. That's my gold tooth. That's my gold tooth. I'll kill him. I'll kill him. All right, people. We Ugh. Meg's fine. Meg, give us a thumbs up. All right, here. If anyone wants this rock, <laughs> you have to pick it up. <laughs> with authentic. No delivery. Bauer jackhammer by John and Meg. <laughs> Hand scraped. Carved design. Twenty two. 23,000 23, American, not pesos. We're back and ready to play. Oh, this is playing. Yeah, guys, I'm, I'm intentionally taking longer than needed because I love spending time with Meg. Can we spend time doing something else? Sure, honey.
when you don't want to blow your face off in the middle of the woods. Dexpan! When you don't want the cops to show up about explosive hazards. Dexpan! I sneezed and lost my balance.